Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have some new food to try out today and we have some ramen from Yes Ramen. So we have three flavors for you guys today. We have the shoyu ramen, we have the tantan men, and then we have the curry. So we're going to try it out and tell you guys how it tastes like. Um, let's try the, what do you call that, the shoyu ramen first. So you guys can try there and we can try there. So we get one piece of meat for you. The meat is like super, ang laki. <laughs> ang laki. I like the thick layer of fat. I know fat is bad for you, but then, the meat juicy. Yeah, it makes the meat really juicy. And then right off the bat, I like the way the eggs are cooked. Soft boiled. It's medium boiled. It's not even soft boiled or hard boiled. It's medium boiled eggs. The way they do it in your restaurants. Ito ba ito yung kaya ko? Bakit ano sa ano? I can show you the way. I don't get it. I can show you the way. Show you. I want to try out the meat first. On its own. Laki yun. Wait, I want to try it with the noodles now. They also ano, add chili oil. This is supposed to be really, really spicy though. So, go slow on it. Go slow on it. So, the shoyu ramen is ano, um, it's a clear soup. Shoyu is soy sauce. So, it's a clear soup based on soy sauce. So, let's give it a try. Mmm! Why so usually that I don't really get the shoyu to be honest in restaurants. Really? Yeah, seriously. I always get shoyu. Me, I don't. You get tamten men. I usually get tamten men because I like it. It's thicker, you know. But this one's really delicious. Parang ano? Parang classic, classic ramen base. Good. Yeah. The meat is really soft. Super. Ask me if the ramen's good. Is the ramen good? Yes, ramen. Yes, ramen. Then the packaging is really nice with this one. It's individually packed for condiment. Yeah, it's very organized. So if you're really craving for ramen, this is perfect. If you're going to do it for takeout, talaga. Looks very easy to assemble. Mhm. It's also separated. It's happy heat it up. Mm -hmm. And the star of the show talaga is, actually it's supposed to be the soup, ramen soup. Usually, when I taste shoyu ramen, no offense, but it tastes like beef cubes. You know, I'm I'm sure you've all tried it. Yung, tastes like beef cubes, some of them. This one tastes like real broth. I don't know what they did to it, but whatever they did, it's okay. It's good. I think the meat soft, I like the egg. Mm -hmm. And the broth, broth is flavorful. Is, yeah. It's light and flavorful. Mm, that's the perfect way to put it. It's light and flavorful. I think it's the egg, yung soy sauce, yung the one that you boil it in soy sauce. It's kind of discolored outside. So these are the noodles, okay? Nice long noodles, okay? Ni siya putol putol, so that means it's not overcooked. It's just cooked right. A little bit for you, a lot for me, vegetables for you. Ay wala na natera. Okay. Mm. Sorry, our neighbors are kind of noisy. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so the owner, see you. So he's been to Japan multiple times, and he really tries up, you know, ramen restaurants. So maybe um, he developed his own style when it comes to all of this. Because so far, the shoyu is really delicious. It's far better than a lot of the ones that I've eaten so far. To be honest, to be perfectly honest. Although, Shepra, when you go to Japanese restaurants, there are still delicious ramen. Of course. Why do I prefer this one over yung shoyu? This one. Well, that's the reason why people prefer shoyu talag. Uh, plantain men over shoyu. Because it's more flavorful, it's thicker. 
and show, the show you stick to light right so, yeah. I like the tan tan meant to have like a, a rich broth that's really what I'm looking for and this is it this is it really brings that to the table I really like it tapos on your meat you saw a while ago right you were packing with me mm -hmm. that or was it you Santino? I was yeah, there you're, also yeah, you were also there your presence wasn't felt so <laughs> Bad. And dami, as in dami mm -hmm. So I'll be putting the prices down below later. But then for the price, I feel super sweet. And to think because when you when you buy stuff like this, you're definitely paying for packaging. A lot of packaging. They use a lot of packaging here. So um, so it really justifies the price. Okay, let's put it this way. It's a little less than what you'd normally pay for a ramen in a ramen shop. But then this is delivered to you. The con Content? Basta, the everything in the ram is like not the contents? Big. Content? Yeah, the contents oh are not. <laughs> the contents of the ramen aren't bitten. Like it's not full of some meat or like some noodles or egg. Oh, in, in Tagalog, you know what they say? Hindi siya tinipid. Ah, yo. Yeah, that, that's how you say it in Tagalog. <laughs> hindi siya tinipid. Yeah, yeah. Hindi siya tinipid. So, in English, they didn't cut down on the ingredients. It's just right. Like for the serving that you're getting, it's a big bowl. And there's enough meat to go around all the noodles and broth that's there. Mm -hmm. You should only give like one piece of meat. Yeah. Yeah, mm, usually, yeah. usually. Tapas for it, taba. Smell it, smell it, smell it. Smells like curry. Smell it, smell it, smell it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this one's yeah. super soft. Yung, what do you call that? Medium boiled eggs. It's like they're really medium boiled eggs. I can smell it. Oh, of course, oh. I can smell it. You have a nose? I, I mean, like, uh, the, the scent of the curry is strong. So First. you can tell it's already, you can tell it's gonna taste good. I'm excited about this one because CCU has been to Japan multiple times. And Japanese curry is definitely different from Yuma Indian, Indian or curry. Thai curry. It's no, very no. different. It's Japanese very different. Curry is usually like. A bit lighter. Yeah, it's lighter. Everything in Japan is lighter. <laughs> they eat a lot of Korean anime, right? Yeah. yeah. Like curry rice. Japan food. Kind of absorbed already by the noodles, but it's a good thing that the packaging comes yung nakahiwalay siya, is separate. Because then it avoids the, these kinds of things. But of course, with us, we've been videoing and taking beauty shots kanina pa kasi. Mm. Mm. And the chili oil. It's really good. And spicy. It's really spicy and delicious. Okay. So how's the meat? I like the meat. It's good. Good. It's crispy. What is it? Ah, fried really well. Mm, yeah, fried really, really well. Mm -hmm. it looks like um, katsudon. Yeah, it's like a katsudon. Not chicken. <laughs> is it chicken? Mm, yeah, it's it chicken. is. It's a chicken katsu. Very well made. It's crunchy. Flavorful. It's flavorful. There's a bit of crunch for the ones na parang hindi mo na soak in the sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's still juicy. And the size is just right. Some restaurants they make it, they pound it so thin to extend the chicken. This one no. Make it look bigger. <laughs> make it look bigger to extend it. This one's a good size of a cutlet. proud of the people sending us stuff because hmm. everything is well executed like even the soft boiled egg like this when like when you slice it it's um, still wet inside even the egg it's like medium boiled and not everybody can execute that sometimes in the restaurants it's kind of hard it's kind of hard boiled now when you get it yeah that's really? true yeah and considering we didn't open this right after we got it yeah, we opened Meaning, this farm two hours. Yeah, like two hours after. Two, two hours after we got. I it. think you had to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. So even then, the stuff didn't didn't dry out or anything. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, how we cooked it or how we assembled it is how you should assemble. How you should assemble it is that you heat it. It comes separately, so you have the sauce in a bag, 
put it in a pot and you heat it um probably till it starts boiling probably slow boil slow boil. So slow boil let it boil for a bit put it in your bowl and then put in your noodles so that it softens mm -hmm. and then put all the toppings Chops. and that's how we came up with how it looks like in the, at the start of the video okay. we'll find the link to yes ramen's instagram page in the description below so if you guys are wondering how to contact Yes Ramen, you can contact them on their Instagram account. I'll also leave the number below. I'm not sure if they have a Facebook page, but if they do, I'll definitely leave it down below. And I will also encourage you guys to like, not my channel, but to like the Facebook page of CU. CU is really a Japanese fanatic, so he really does like yung mga cosplay and stuff. I'll, I'll probably put it here. I'll scroll his his. This is what they call it. His cosplays below. So if you're a Japanese fanatic, if you like uh, what they call it, anime. anime and everything Japan, so you can follow his page. I mean, it helps because again, he he went to J to Japan a lot <laughs> multiple, of times. Multiple times. A lot of times. <laughs> yeah, multiple so he has, times. He has, he, has a lot of ramen. he has an idea on how ramen in Japan really tastes like. But it's his authentic taste inspired by Japan. So that's how that's how you'd put it. So this is definitely worth your money if you will ask me, okay? How about you? Yeah. How about you? Definitely. How about you? Yes, ramen. <laughs> yes, ramen. Oh, okay. So yes, it's definitely a yes for us. To simply put it, masarap siya. <laughs> okay. It's, it's really good. Um, the broth is thick. The the servings are very generous. Have it delivered straight to your home. So I think that's a really big plus if you want the the taste of ramen without going out like right now that there's a pandemic and so on. So that's it, guys. Taob. <laughs> Taob. The soap. <laughs> the soap. It's filling. Yeah, so they finished all of it. I kind of have a little bit left on mine. Can I get it? it? No. Can I get it? No. <laughs> I'm still this gonna is yours, eat. right? That's also mine. <laughs> Wait. Wait. I'm gonna eat mine later. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, I really hope that you get to try this one out. It's another good find here in the South. Um, this was a really, really hearty meal and I'm really happy that we got to try this one. I encourage everybody to place your orders. Um, I think if you're within Philam Village, I think they deliver it themselves probably with a fee. I'll double check. But then everybody, I hope you guys can order. I hope you guys can like and subscribe. And see you on my next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye.